Welcome everybody. Welcome to another unboxing of mine of probably I would say my most favorite Mercurio that's probably going to come out this year and probably one of my favorite ones in a long time I would say where I was really really excited and and hyped to get. And I'm not going to lie, when I first saw the pictures of them, I didn't think I was going to like them honestly. Um but uh, now I've seen multiple pictures and I, I I love them. I love them and I can't wait to open them. I think um, it's probably going to be one of my favorite shoes that right now I have one pair. But I'm definitely going to have to order, order another pair. Um, but for now, this one will do. This one will be good to play in. And then the other one, I'm just honestly just going to store and save up. Um, so as you know by the title you know what shoe it is so let's just open it get to the box you know nike needs to stop doing this where they um have the tape to just do it because i feel someone's just gonna come and can steal the box you know we have the big swoosh on the side is that necessary i mean i know it's marketing branding but it's also you know showing a lot of people and maybe it doesn't it won't affect me but i know it probably affects other people so that's why I don't understand why they decided to do it or are doing it that way but I don't know like I said I don't have no control over those things so let's put the handy dandy knife away and open up the box of course we have the normal um, regular silver box that they've been using get rid of these don't need those um, Here's the box right there. I'm gonna throw it out of the way. And there you go. As you can see, it's the Superfly Elite FG. Um, now, there's some controversy over these shoes. Uh, let me explain. So, as I did a video, um, my last video, I talked about what I thought Nike was going to do with uh, Ronaldo CR7. And because originally everybody thought that these shoes. We're going to be you know cr7 shoes but since they stopped at chapter seven you know what was going to be the next shoe and this one was supposed to be and then he got injured so right now he released a statement saying that mbappe and so i think sam samantha i don't know uh, an australian player they were going to be wearing them until he came back from obviously his injury so those two players have been wearing this shoe and there's no cr7 branding on these um as people thought but like i said in my video the weird thing is if you look up Cristiano ronaldo on nike.com these shoes show up next to the chapter 7 shoes or they'll show up if you search him so it's a little weird um of course this doesn't say special edition usually the special edition shoes um, will say special edition next to the FG or something. So I don't know. I, I still don't know what's going on, but I'm still excited to have these, whether they're CR7 or they're not. So it's time. Let's open this box. See what comes in it. That's your normal deliver for the future in a cardboard box, is what the paper says. Kind of cool. And there they are. Look at how nice these are. Wow, that just, that just looks beautiful to me. And here's a shoe. My goodness, look at this. Look at this. It is a beauty. Okay, so the story for the shoe was why presumably, presumably why everybody thought it was going to be a CR7 shoe was because it's got like this print that kind of reflects if you take a picture with the flash um, and then it has all these different colors these are basically just different uh mercurials that you know really he's worn so it's kind of that's why it's a lot of people don't know what to think of these are they cr7 are they not but he is the only one that was supposed to wear them but like i said he got hurt and so rather than you know um 
postpone the release or anything like that. They just left it up to um, Mbappe and, and the female player from Australia to um, wear them. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it. Obviously, it's going to get dirty, which is why I need two pairs. Um, and normal price tag or the regular the price tag for these is three hundred dollars. Um, and that's a lot. So as far as the performance of the shoe, it's nothing different from any other Mercurio uh, Superfly Elite. It's the same, same feel, same everything. Um, nothing different, just the colorway is different. Um, so yeah, so like I said, Nike hasn't released anything as to why maybe they changed their mind or, or what happened, but um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, I still feel they are for Ronaldo, obviously, and um, he's just injured and can't wear them. So, um, but yeah, this it's just I, I it's one of my favorite colorways. I I don't really like white boots just because they get dirty a lot, but I have to say these are just fantastic. Um, and of course, let's check out the stream bag. Stream bag, nice, pretty nice. My friend actually ordered these, and he told me that he really liked them too. So, um, before when I saw first saw the images, then I like them, but now I do. So look at we got little details. We got the colorway right there on the tongue, which is just really nice. And then if you look in the inside in the insole, it's the same pattern that goes along down here. Um, so, nothing, nothing, oh, and then, wow, look at, and then the tips and the shoelaces, got that same pattern as well. Um, so definitely a lot of details put in this shoe. Don't know why they're not CR7 shoes, um, but I still love them. I still think they're nice. And I can't wait to wear them. New soccer season starting means new shoe. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to maybe do some B-roll of the shoe. And um, tell me what you guys think of these. Are you guys planning on getting a pair? Do you want a pair? Um, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.